right, chat. No UI. Let's turn it off. Let's see how we do. There are a few things missing off our screen that we use. Don't know the player count. We don't know players' names. We can't see the kill feed. We don't know when we actually kill somebody unless we check. Hey, thank you so much for coming to my friend. Howie, buddy. Beard is on point, bud. Hey, thank you. And scraggly. Remember when we sprayed down this window here? Is there a box here? Oh my god, we did kill this guy earlier! <laughs> That's why these no UI rounds like are intense. Like we didn't even know we got this guy before we went for the other dude. So like I don't have any information up here for kill numbers or anything like that. Like we need to go to this screen just because there's nothing in the game that allows us to loot without having that. And we can look at our map because there's nothing physical that we can do to know where the map's going. Um, so there's just like if those items were like physically in the game, then we could do it doing that stuff. But self imposed challenge, yes. So everybody else has their UI. I can't even really mark on the map. I actually, uh, like, see, there's no ooh, I put down a little mark in the middle that I normally run towards. They literally just need to make PUBG 2, uh, same gun-wise to this, have like a wicked map on launch. Just one awesome map that rivals Erangel, or maybe even just bring Erangel over to the new game. I would be fine with. under 75 health. We need bandages to know when we're under 75 as well. Medkits, uh, the one of the best items that you can have when doing these rounds. As it will let you know if you have um, 100 health. So you can bandage or med up to 75, so you know if you're under 75. But if you boosted and your booster didn't get you the whole way, you don't know. So um, in that case, you can use a med kit to know that you're not full health. Just like a, if you can use a med kit like this, see how I'm using it? 
you can tell you know that you're not full health yet else it won't let you use it you gotta go north the opposite direction where we're going yeah there was a hardcore mode um which was interesting because they used the uh for the zone they used a flare you know where you are based on a flare, so you wouldn't need the circle uh, guidance. It's still kind of like a little weird, but they did it in the dark. Um, and they made it so it was like one hit kills kind of thing. So they kind of made it a little uh, awkward. I would like the same game, but like just take away all the UI stuff. Have like a physical map that you have to bring up. And maybe like... Um, coordinates and get given to you over loudspeaker or something or radio like you radio in and it gives you like the coordinates maybe the other crazy thing about this is not knowing how many people are left there could be five players left right now there could be 30 just don't know Usually a map, that's unfair. So how do you tell where the circle is without a map? <laughs> you have to know the zone. Of, like we've tried it without the, the thing and unless you're like center of the circle and you just get lucky. I, the, the worst is that um, you're doing the no UI pro, uh, you, the no UI challenge and the circle passes you and you have to run like a kilometer and you don't even know how, when the circle is gonna stop. Like, if, you have to, um, if there, that was to be the case, like, you can't loot without this screen, and you can't know where the circle is without this screen, so you have to use those. And it doesn't really diminish the uh, challenge at all. Like, the challenge itself uh, is far greater than you think. Just crazy not knowing how many people are left. Yes, you can look at your gun and see the, uh, the fire mode. That it's on right now i know i'm on auto so i don't really want to mess with it i heard him i just don't know where he is Couldn't tell if he was in this building or that building. I just kept on hearing little movements. But yeah, every gun has unique things which shows what fire mode you're on. I don't use that as much since they added the auto, like where you're on automatic when you pick up the gun. I haven't really used that much. I just get that kill. That's the other thing. We don't know when other people kill players. Hmm. 
Man, it would be nice to know if there's three players left, like that guy's shooting at the last guy, or there's like 10 players left. <laughs> Bodied the guy up there. I don't think I got him. I think I bodied him. Could be one on one with this guy down here. We don't even know. I got him. Okay, so that that bullet was negated, which means that that guy died. I can't hit my my bed kit, which means that that bullet didn't hit me. That we heard hit me. That makes sense. Intense, not knowing how many there left. I'm thinking it's one v one right now. Unless there's a guy in the buildings and this guy's still alive up top. I didn't kill this dude. I think there's two. So bad at the end. Oh yeah, the guy early we didn't know we less killed. Less than three, less than three, less than three. So here. We didn't know we killed that guy. I thought he just, I just lit him up. And then I went to uh, find the other. See, I'm still looking to see if he's looking out the window. We still don't know if we killed this guy. We can only assume since he didn't pop back up. And then we're like, okay, let's get this guy's stuff and let's go back for the other guy in town. Not knowing that that guy's already dead in there. That's funny. Uh, where was this, this snipe down here? I'll probably see. What was the kill here? Oh yeah, that was the guy that came into my compound that I was wondering about. So this one, I, I think I hit him with this grenade. I'm a little off uh, because it's my first round there. That spray was bad, but the high ground is the only reason why I won that. This was a nice snipe here. Guy in the compound. We see the guy up top. This is the questionable one. I did get him up there. 
I thought I bodied that guy. And do you know what was so funny here in like 900 IQ? Is that I was checking to see if this guy hit me. Um, I can tell if this guy was dead. Oh man, I was able to tell that this guy, or I think it was this guy. I can tell that this guy was dead because when I when you hear the hit on me, um, if I and I check to see if I still have health. If I if I lost health, he's still alive or potentially still alive. But if I didn't lose health, we know he's dead. If I never lost any health on the hit that he hit me with, because there's a little bit of a desync and you can't trade in this game. So which means that he was if he was dead first, he his hit doesn't count. So you'll you'll uh, hear it here. Me get hit, and then I immediately go to check to see if I can use my uh, my med kit. See how I got hit there? I go check my med kit. Can't use the med kit. I know I'm at 100 health, which means that he didn't hit me. I go for a booster just to top off because we don't know where our booster count is at as far as um, knowing how boosted we are. So we're in a 1v1 situation. We think that there's maybe two at the top. I still don't know if I, if I snipe that guy. So in my mind, I'm still looking for two players at least. Maybe somebody crawling. We think that there's a guy up top. Um, we see uh, like a, um, some mollies come in from the right and we assume somebody's on the left. So I still think there's two players at this point, you know? I don't know it's a 1v1 situation, but we see these all come in from the right. So I, I did see them come in from that side. And so I see that one. So I know that there's one player up there and then I'm like, okay, I'm pretty sure there's a guy to the left as well. And I was just kind of seeing if these guys would fight. And we're, we're starting to piece it together that it's, it, it's potentially just one. Since there's no fighting going on. And both players should know where the other player is. Then we get... It, this guy has to come down after his throw. <laughs> Boom. And then we get our dance song.